Thank God. Whoa, he's running, he's running. Whoa, 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 go, go. Nah, he's got something good on him. I got a, I got a good fish. So our game plan on this day was to do some trolling, but also mix in a couple bottom drops. We had some stuff we wanted to check out in this area. So right now you can see on the right, we've got those two deep drop rigs ready to go. And we're just, we have the boat pointed towards our bottom spot and we're going to fish our way there. Good head shakes. I mean, I'll crank. Yeah, there you go. Get on it. You better get ready up here. We got some serious action, baby. Yeah. I think you could probably pull the shorts up, but I think we can leave all the others. Oh, he's he's giving him some good head shakes. These gloves smell so bad. So if I make I you, if I make you pass out, I apologize, but I need to keep my hands. So when we get to the planer, I think we'll have you back up, pick, pick up, and well, no, it's not a swivel. So you have to take the rod out and back up for me. Eddie, you watching this? We got the planer coming in right here. Yep. Got a wire. Well, we. Yeah. Well, not wire. Yep, I'm ready. Wait, yeah, he's, he's upset, I know that. Oh, he's taking. Ah, just, well, we're, 
It's just a nice fish, that's all. So this fish dives and then you can see I'm trying to hold that line and keep it off the edge of the boat right there. But you can see he's already past the boat. Funk, that line goes right down in that tuna door. I wasn't even able to hold it up. And uh, I'm quickly fidgeting and I finally pop that line free of the tuna door and you see it cuts to the left because that fish actually swam past us. I thought he was gone because I got slack after that, but the fish actually swam back to the right. We got lucky we didn't lose him. You got him. You got him. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. Be careful. Just watch him. Watch him. Watch him. All right. Watch Move, him. Push him over there. That's a big boy. Here, I'm going to grab his tail. Hey, good job, buddy. Good job. And here we are pulling up to the spot we're going to bottom fish so we're just clearing lines getting some rods out of the way but still leaving everything pretty much ready to go because as soon as we're done doing this we're going to drop lines right back in the water and keep fishing rose, rose fish slam <laughs> if you don't mind grab me one big big bait and i'll put it on the big yeah bait. Yeah, you're gonna get them. You're gonna get them. You this way. Yep. He's straight. Give us one bumper reverse. Thank you. up way too fast you think yeah this spot we're fishing is loaded with black belly rose fish that pretty much jump on your stuff as soon as it hits the bottom but i was hoping to leave mine down there for long enough that maybe one of my baits would not have a rose fish on it and eventually something bigger would come over and grab it being either a golden tile fish or a uh, snowy grouper hopefully snowy grouper because golden tiles are out of season <laughs> You'll think you hooked the bottom, like. <laughs> so once my bait had been down there for a little bit, either I drifted out of the rosefish or the rosefish quit messing with it. I'm not sure which, but you'll see as we keep drifting along, there was a little bit of a current, which isn't ideal for bottom fishing, but I just keep letting out line every now and then to maintain bottom contact, and I'm just waiting, seeing if anything happens.
Are we marking anything anymore? Probably not. Oh. Big old dump. Oh, there you go. Now you got it. Oh. Why it's not? You, put, you can put both of them on and it brings Yeah, them. I got something different. Here, put, put your reds. Nah, he's got something good on I got him. A, I got a good fish. I don't know how much drag to use. Hopefully it's not a shark. Okay. You want that much drag on him? I don't know. Is that actually 20 pounds? Yeah, exactly. Oh, damn. Okay, okay. All right, maybe we got the target. We got speed. something. That's cool. Hopefully it's not a... Oh, it's sagging you out, look. Yeah, no. Wow. I'm hoping it's not a... Yeah, one of the... A, a, gray, a gray suited, <laughs> no. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's something. It's something pretty serious. It does look decent. Right it is, it's at like 24 pounds. It's at 20 pounds. I know what you have. That ain't bad. I mean, you said they're big roses. You said that. Like, oh, they're. Oh, look at the bait on them already. That's not bad for only having it down there. I mean. Yep. They got. They got. What? Up in the tree spool. Yeah, at least they're big ones. They're not small here. Oh. I wouldn't mind catching a bunch of big ones. The little ones are hard. That's a pretty serious bite. We got some pretty serious. Fish on here. These are bump reverse for me, Eddie. <laughs> Do not. It's not great, but doable clearly. Yeah, I'm worried it's a, a man in the gray suit. What? A man in the gray suit. Yeah. What do you say, Eddie? But yeah, if it's right. still fighting, that's not good. It's kind of floating now. Could be something good. Oh, wow. It's out of there he is, whatever it is. Oh, it's big. Hope y'all got big gab. I'm worried. I got a gab. Watch that. Oh, it's a big grouper. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's what we were saying. Hell yeah. <laughs> Stick him, Hunter. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, it's legal. All right, let's start getting the blue one. Yeah. They're in season. Yeah. Which, which grouper is that? That's what Snowy. Yeah. First, one I've, first, first one I've ever seen. Yep, you can only keep one, so that's the one we wanted. Wow, that was quick and easy. Hey, that's a nice that's a hole that you gotta keep. Imagine there's bigger down there than that. Yep, there are. Yep, those were Wahoo. We pulled one off on the planer, then pulled one off on the right long, which had wire on it. 
and uh, I think our bridge pole also got bit, and judging from what the baits looked like when we brought them in, we knew they were wahoo and not something else. Okay, you're clear. So yeah, go ahead and bring it in. Now we're good, now we're good. Is he in another line? It looks like it. Yeah, I'll probably just sling it, or are you gonna gap it, Caleb? <laughs> Got him? He's about to get him. Here, Here, let's uh get that hey, hook so we can hey, get this long back out. As we were wrapping our day up and started to troll our way home in some shallower water, we marked something in, I think it was a little less than 250 feet of water. Weren't sure what it was, but we dropped a waypoint on it and spun back around, pulled the lines in, and I grabbed a bottom rig to drop down there and see what we were working with. Yeah, we're, we're a little, we're a little 
past. I got something. Damn, this looks kind of nice. I, I see it. I think it's a trigger fish. Trigger fish! Oh, triggers! Oh, All right, nice. hopefully we get him. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to try to flip That is terrific. I don't know if I have anything. Oh, yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a sea bass, I think. No, yeah, you got a sea bass. Here. There you go. They're there. All right. All right, I'll get mine. I'll get my other rod. Ready? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
All right. There he is, Eddie.